Let's make sure everything's squared away. First off, we're heading for Linga, right? Yep. We need to find someone who can read the ancient text for us. Hopefully we'll find out something about the sorcery globe in the process. Yeah, that too. The town's located more or less south of Lacour, if I recall correctly. Sounds good. Let's go. You all right? Uh, oh, I can't drink anymore. Man, he's wasted. I'd say I've won this round. Can I get an answer to my question now? You do remember that you promised to tell me whatever I wanted if I beat you in a drinking contest. What? What do you want? Does the name Ernest ring a bell? He's a man with three eyes, just like me. Uh, nope. I never seen or heard of him. <laughs> oh, and he's out. So nothing again. Well, not that I was expecting very much. I might as well try asking you guys next. Have any of you seen a man with three eyes? Yeah, we have. Oh, well I knew that finding him wouldn't be easy from the start. Wait, you saw him? I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. When? Where did you see him? A little while ago, uh, near Cross Castle. So he's at Cross. 
Ah, that's right. I should at least introduce myself. My name is Opera. Opera Vectra. I'm Claude. Claude C. Kenny. Well, thank you, Claude, but I need to get a move on to Cross. If we ever meet again, I'd love to talk some more. We've come here today, Your Majesty, to consult with you regarding some important matters. Oh? And what would that be? Has a woman with three eyes visited you in the past? A woman with three eyes, indeed. I just concluded an audience with her, in fact. She came to ask me about a meeting I had with a three-eyed man several days prior. A man? Quite so. He had come seeking permission to enter the Mountain Palace. The Mountain Palace? Yes. It's the name we give to the cave by Lake Cole. It's been tended to by generations of castle stewards. You can find it north of the city. Opera can't be too far behind, then. Indeed. I imagine she went to the Mountain Palace herself. Right after she heard my story, she asked for permission to enter. Um, would you be able to give us permission to enter as well? Oh, certainly. I must warn you, however, that you'll need to be careful. Monsters have taken up residence in the caves as of late. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Not at all. I will inform the guard about you post-haste. A gift for the road. Thank you, Your Majesty. Why does this place have to be so dusty? It's driving me nuts. 
Well, we are in a cave. Hmm. That's right. You have a point. Oh, you're Claude, right? So what is it? Can I help you? Actually, yes. Hey, wait a minute! Let's cut to the chase, Opera. You aren't from this planet, are you? Huh? Wait, are you telling me that you aren't either? What are you doing here? You should know that the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact forbids any interaction with this planet. I know. But first this happened, then that happened. Um, you haven't forgotten about me, have you? Oh, uh... Sorry, folks, but we aren't in that kind of relationship. Besides, I already have somebody in my life. My friend Ernest. He's actually an archaeologist. He ran off into the frontiers of space all of a sudden, saying it was for his research or something. So that's why I'm here. I'm trying to track down his whereabouts. You do realize how dangerous this place is. Yeah, well, that's love, right? So, you think Ernest is in here somewhere? He should be. See? Look for yourself. This used to be a wall here. Judging by the remains, it couldn't have been destroyed very long ago. Makes sense. So I was trying to go deeper inside this cave, but I don't think I can make it through here by myself. Hey, would you guys mind sticking with me in here? You can have all the treasures, or whatever, along the way. Sounds good to me. What do you think, Reyna? Well, there you have it. Welcome. Thanks, guys. You're really helping me out here.
what happened here? Looks like Ernest's handiwork. A single shot from an AP-3 plasma launcher. The Firefly, as we call it. Oh, that's some kind of gear he has. Outlawed throughout the galaxy too, I think. What are you talking about? We were just verifying the cause of death here. They're still alive! Typical Ernest. He didn't finish them off. Do you think these monsters have lived here their whole lives? I'd imagine so, yeah. Sorry, guys. You were just trying to protect your home, weren't you? Look, you can't apologize to every monster you kill. There's not enough time in the world for that. If you sympathize with your enemy too much, it'll come back to bite you in the end. You're a very strong woman. Well, I have someone important waiting for me. I couldn't have made it this far without that sort of resolve. Let's keep going. Ernest might still be in here. Yeah. stuff a hidden laboratory what was he doing here anyway are you saying he built this room no I think it's the king's private penthouse what do you think I'm saying I think this is the end of the cave and it looks like Ernest is nowhere to be found you're right. Now what will I do? Well, you could always join our group. Hmm. I could. I've lost the one good lead I had. Maybe I'll find another if I travel with you guys. We'd be glad to help you search for Ernest. It's easier to have a search party on your side instead of trying to look by yourself, isn't it? Thank you, everyone.
Claude. Hey, Opera. What are you up to? Nothing much. Just looking around a little. Oh, say, Claude, are you interested in making a little bet? A bet? Yeah, nothing big, of course. Let's try guessing whether the next person coming out of the store is a man or a woman. Easy, right? If I lose, then I'll do anything you tell me to. Sounds like fun. That's the spirit. I'm the one who challenged you, so you make the bet for me. Who do you think we'll see out of the shop next? A man or a woman? Hmm. It'll be a woman for sure. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Yep, that's my choice. Let's see what happens then. I win. Sure did. I was keeping an eye on the shops around town. The jewelry store had a little of both, but there was nothing but men inside the weapon shop. Oh, so you had a good idea of how it would turn out from the start. Yep, that's why I let you choose first, of course. Oh, you did, didn't you? I sure did. So that's why I won. Crap! Of course, even if you had bet on a man to come out, I had an ace up my sleeve. Opera? that thing well what's it look like my ship ran out of fuel and this is where I crash landed the things totaled of course so now I'm stuck here that makes two of us then oh the same thing happened to you Claude I figured I had at least half a chance of getting back home with you but I guess not Sorry. Oh, you don't have to apologize. What are you two talking about, Claude? Oh, it's... it's nothing. Just some personal things. Come on, bunny! 
So this is Linga? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it! Ah! Look out! What is that thing? Ah! Uh, ah! Just stop for a second! Was that what I thought it was? What's a machine doing in a place like this? Machine? What's that? What's wrong, Claude? Again! My dad's gonna laugh at me again. I just know it. Hey, you there! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Oh! Uh... <laughs> uh -huh. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is like... Totally normal. I break more things before 8 a.m. than most people break all day. I don't think that's exactly how it goes, but anyway, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, by the way, do you know where my Robbie went? Your... Robbie? Yeah, you know, the guy that ran by just now. Oh, you mean that thing that looked like a remote control toy? It went over there. Ah, uh, dang! I better catch him before he goes too far. Hey, wait a sec! Thanks for checking up on me. See ya, folks. Quite a girl, isn't she? Do you need something? Yeah, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, you're interested in me that way, aren't you? Sounds good to me. I'm free all year. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Gosh, you didn't have to deny it so strongly. That's just rude. I, uh, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, that's all right. So, what did you need? I'm interested in that thing you have there, actually. This thing? That's an RC car, isn't it? An RC what? Come on, that name's stupid. His name's Robbie, okay? Hmm, I guess Robbie isn't much better either, now that I think of it. No, it's fine. You think? Well, super, I really like that name myself. You know, that R sound, Rob, 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 Robbie. So, um, you're interested in Robbie? Huh? Here, you like him? Well, I guess so. I mean, it looks exactly like an RC car, after all. I don't know what an RC car is, but I'm glad you like Robbie. That means you and I will get along pretty well. Listen, you want to come to my house sometime and have something to drink? I've got all kinds of other neat stuff I made that I could show you. Are you sure? 
And I'm not trying to ask you on a date, okay? Uh, right. Super then. My name is Priestess. Priestess F. Newman. Glad to meet you. Oh, my name is Claude. Claude C. Kenny. Hmm, well, nice to meet you, Claude. Wondering, how old are you? I'm 19 this year. We're only three years apart then. No worries there. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? Claude, that blue-haired girl who is with you? Is she your girlfriend? W what No! Hmm, I see. This is your house? Uh-huh. Cool. Thank you. Oh, Reyna? What are you doing here, Claude? Oh, Dad, if you're gonna be bringing cute chicks to the house, at least give me some advance warning. What are you talking about? You're the one bringing strange men in and out. You know, you could at least try to be a little more discreet about it. So this thing caught your eye too, huh, Reyna? Y yes it did Well, you know what they say. Sooner or later, true genius always gets recognized for the genius it is. Yeah, shame that usually doesn't happen until long after the creator's dead. That was unnecessary, young lady. So what was it that inspired you to make stuff like this? Huh? Oh, well, uh, I know this will sound generic, but for me, it was purely just a flash of inspiration. <laughs> oh, really? I need to ask, though. I couldn't help but notice the clothes you're wearing. <laughs> it's not something you can get just anywhere, is it? Oh, you think? Oh, they sell clothes like these all over the place. Nothing special at all. <laughs> um, Claude? Well, there are people still waiting for us, so we should be taking our leave. <laughs> you have to go? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't have more here to offer. Oh, not at all. The tea was lovely. Listen, uh, you know how my dad was talking about that flash of inspiration before? Well, that was a big fat lie. A lie? A while back, my dad picked up this weird hunk of iron that shone like the sun. It was really huge, too. He said something about it falling out of the sky. Fell from the sky? 
Like the sorcery globe? Yeah, probably. And, um... What? Listen, Reyna, you're probably totally jealous of me right now, right? You don't have to hide it. It's not like I mind having a rival or anything. Wait, I... It's not... I'm telling you, it's okay. I mean, you do have a thing for Claude, don't you? Oh, of course not. Don't be silly. Oh, uh, so no problem then. There is a problem. A big one. And what would that be, hmm? Well, I mean... Hmm, so why? What's the big deal? I... I just... Oh! The Sorcery Globe! We've got the Sorcery Globe to think about. Listen, Priestess. We're about to set off on a journey to investigate the Sorcery Globe, okay? I'm sorry, but we don't have the time to preoccupy ourselves with you. Oh, hold it there, you two. So you guys are gonna go check out the Sorcery Globe? Yeah, that's right. Then let me go with you. Come on, take me along, please. I... Uh, we can't let you join us just because you want to. Come on, why can't I go too? We're friends, aren't we? Whoa, whoa, since when were we friends? We've always been friends as far as I'm concerned. Are you trying to deny it? That's not what we're saying, no. What's the problem then? I mean, the sorcery globe fell out of the sky too, didn't it? If I can find it and take it back home, I bet I can use it to make even better stuff than ever before. Besides, you're the only folks I know who'll treat me like a normal girl. Priestess. I know that. It's just not going to work. We're risking our lives on the road every day we're out there. This isn't a field trip by any stretch of the imagination. He's right. Besides, won't your father be worried if you go out on a journey all by yourself? Oh, you big bullies. What are you doing on the road then, Reyna? Oh, just forget it. Whatever. That wasn't pretty. Thank you. 
come to look for a book too, Claude? Yep, you too, Reyna? Yes, there's a book I want to find. What are you reading, Reyna? Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that! Sorry, sorry! I was just wondering what you were reading is all. You mean this? Yeah, what book is it? Huh. University study. A how-to guide? Yeah. I've been interested in going to college for a while now. Hmm. I didn't know you wanted to go to school, Reyna. I'm not at that point yet. I'm just curious about what it's like. Besides, I can't exactly make the commute from Arlie to Linga every day. Yeah, I guess you're right. I know. How about I help you with your studies? Huh? If you're curious about college, then that means you want to continue studying, right? But you don't really need a university for that, Reyna. You can study whatever you want, as long as you've got a teacher to help you. Guess you don't trust me. I had pretty good grades in school, you know. Oh no, it's not that. I was just so happy that you offered. Well then, lead away, Professor Kenny. Professor? <laughs> okay then, where shall we begin? And that's how it works. Do you understand it? Hmm, that's really interesting. That's enough for today, I think. Thanks, Claude. And you would be? Pardon me, we've come here in search of a linguist. You'd like to meet the professor? Do you have an appointment? Uh, an appointment? I'm sorry, people, but the professor is a very busy man. If you don't have an appointment, then I'm afraid he doesn't have the time to see you. Well, can we make an appointment? We really need to see him. Well, I don't have any openings available until about a month from now. Uh, a month? Yes, a month. I'll see you then. Oh, brother. Next month? We can't wait that long, can we? No. That's why we've got to figure out a way to get in contact with him. Do you think the linguist would have any acquaintances elsewhere in town? 
Hmm, like who, for example? Well, like friends, or maybe people who work at the shops he visits. We might as well hit up the town for some clues. Sounds good to me. Hello, hello. Your stomach bothering you? No, that's not the problem we're here for. Um, do you know the linguist who lives next to the campus store? Oh, you mean Keith? It's very important that we talk to that man. Do you know how we can meet him without an appointment? Well, he's been swamped with requests to decipher old books and scrolls lately, that much I know. Unless it's something really, really important, I doubt there's any way to jump the line. We need him to read an ancient text we found inside Cross Cave. Would that work? From Cross Cave? Well, that's a whole different story then. We can't wait a month for this. If you happen to know Keith at all, would you be able to arrange something? You're telling me you found this scroll inside Cross Cave. You know that's hard to believe based on what I know about the cave, right? Well, we have the evidence right here if you want to see it. Evidence, shm evidence. You could fabricate something like that easy. Not that I'm saying you're lying, mind you. Just tell us how we can convince you. If you're strong enough to traverse Cross Cave, then going through Linga's sacred grounds shouldn't be a problem for you. Linga's sacred grounds? Yep, a place revered by pharmacists for its bounty of medicinal plants, located right next to town, you know. It still hasn't fully been explored, though. There are still all kinds of undiscovered herbs inside, no doubt. So you want us to go in there? Oh, this is no field trip. It may be a sacred ground, but deep inside exists a place known as the door to another world. It's a dangerous place, and it's lousy with monsters. If you aren't ready for it, you could pay with your life. But you'll believe our story if we go and fetch some herbs for you? Hmm, maybe. If the cross cave didn't kill you, then finding me an undiscovered herb would probably convince me. An undiscovered herb? Are you serious? Oh, that shouldn't make you break a sweat, Mr. I went to cross cave. Come on, off you go then. This must be the kind of herb Bowman was talking about. Sweet! Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? 
I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia.
eat. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop in Salva, and even in Arlia. Sweet. Now we can finally get a chance to talk to Keith. You're right. I definitely haven't seen anything like this before. Excellent. Let's go see what Bowman thinks. Brought something back, have you? Let's have a look. Here are the goods. What do you think? Whoa! What have you found? Is it good? I haven't seen anything like this except in dusty old textbooks. Where did you find this stuff? So it's a winner then? Guys, this isn't a winner. It's a major scientific breakthrough. Major enough to get us a visit with the linguist? You've discovered a completely new family of medical herbs and that's all you care about? You people are special, you know that? I gotta get you in touch with Keith right away. Here, let's go. I'm taking you to Keith's house. Keith must be a pretty busy man. 
We got pushed out of the house the last time we visited. Hold on a second. Keith! Hey, Keith! Keith, you there? Keith! Keith! Great, he's not here. What's all this racket? Sorry about that. It's me. Oh, uh, Dr. Jean. Yeah, just call me Bowman. Is Keith in? Oh, uh, yes, just a moment. Please, come in. Excuse me, sir. Well, hello, Bowman. I haven't heard from you lately. Hello, Keith. What happened to the friendly neighborhood linguist I used to know, huh? What do you mean? These people have been trying to talk with you, but they keep getting booted out. Well, I've been busy deciphering these books for the kingdom. They're looking for information on the sorcery globe, but this stuff's mostly useless. That's why I'm having my assistant chase the distractions away for the time being. You think we're just distractions? You didn't mean anything by it, guys. Just tell them what you want. Well, we'd like you to translate an ancient text we found deep in the heart of Cross Cave. From the Cross Cave? Seriously? Yes, we formed a party to find it, but it's too old to make any sense out of. Hmm, well, sounds a bit more interesting than this government busy work, at least. Let's have a look at it. This is it. My goodness, we have a potentially monumental discovery. Really? Hmm, this resembles an ancient rabbinic hand I'm familiar with, but the script runs quite a bit differently. Do you think you can decipher it? Well, it's going to take me some time. Do you mind if I borrow this for a while? I'd like to have some time to concentrate on it. By all means, go ahead. Thank you very much. This is quite a surprise to find on my desk, I must say. I suppose I ought to thank you too, Bowman. <laughs> you actually thanked me. We're probably gonna see pigs fly before long. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Keith was just about beside himself. Thanks. We really appreciate it. Oh, no need for that. Myself? I'm interested in this crazy adventure you guys threw yourself into more than anything. Oh, um... The way you folks carried on about the Sorcery Globe over dinner, I thought you were married to it. So, you're really going to travel to L and take a look for yourself, huh? Well, we'd like to, yes. Did you actually think I'd let you walk away after giving me such a tantalizing story? Huh? Every expedition needs an experienced, knowledgeable scientist in the party, doesn't it? Oh. So, I'm suggesting you take old Bowman and his many years of experience along. I assure you, you won't regret it.
Really? Well, in that case, we'd love to have you. Ha <laughs> ha! You're a smart shopper, kid. This isn't exactly a shopping trip. Well, anyway, you're leaving tomorrow morning, aren't you? I better go tell Nene while I have a chance. Good night, Claude. See you tomorrow. So he's going to leave Nene? Just like that? Sorry. I'll be back, I promise. I know you, Bowman. You aren't the sort of person to just leave the house on a lark. Nene. Don't worry. I'll take care of things here for you. Well, I'd say it's about time to set off. You sure about that? You haven't even said goodbye to Nene. Well, what do you want me to do? Go up to her and say in front of all you guys, Oh, my sweetest of loves, I swear I'll return for you? Shh. <laughs> You young people get all romantic at the drop of a hat, don't you? Well, I'll see you later, Nene. Sure. Have fun out there. Well, I'd say it's time we head for L. We'll need to ask the King of Lacour to send out a ship for us. He's right. And while we're in Lacour, we better make sure we have all the equipment and supplies we need. I'll carve a chunk off the sorcery globe and bring it home for you, Nene. Sure, honey. That would be nice.
That was Bowman, wasn't it? But who was that woman with him? Doctor, will my daughter be okay? Can I speak with you privately for a moment, madam? I'm going to be honest with you. She's in a very precarious situation right now. She's in remission for the time being, but I can't say she's making much progress towards eradicating the disease from her body. In fact, it's slowly getting worse. Oh no. Isn't there anything we can do? If money is the problem, I can pay you whatever you want, no matter how many years it takes. I apologize, madam, but this is beyond my abilities. Oh, Eleanor, my Eleanor. Yo, Claude. So you're here, huh? Did something happen, Bowman? I was headed to a bar when I ran into this beautiful lady along the way. She told me about how her child was suffering from this illness. I decided to take a look at her to see if I could do anything about it. Oh, now I get it. But I'm at a total loss. I couldn't even give her a diagnosis. Got it! I finally got it! What, what is it, Bowman? What are you shouting for? Oh, sorry, sorry. Forgot I'm in a library. Anyway, I finally found a reference to the disease that little girl is suffering from. Really? The IRO's disease pathogen works itself into the carrier's body system, slowly eating its way in. There are virtually no recorded cases of patients making a full recovery from the disease, but there are several reports of a legendary herb known as Matorx possibly proving to be an effective treatment. What kind of herb could this Matorx be? Or is it an herb at all? I still don't have much to go on, but at the very least, this is something that we can try. All we have to do is find some of that Matorx and we could potentially be in business. Matorx? That's not all either. Nobody knows today where this legendary Matorx grows anymore. The old folklore gives us only one lead to go on. It says that the herb can be found on a mountain where the phoenix's breath flows. A mountain where the phoenix's breath flows? I don't know exactly which mountain that would be, but at the very least, we know that the Matorx is on a mountain somewhere. Bowman! Where are you going? What do you think? I'm off to look for some Matorx. What? But you don't even know what mountain it could be growing on. I can't just let my patient suffer by herself. I don't care how slim the chances are. If there's a way to help the sick, then it's a doctor's duty to risk his life for it. In that case, why don't you let us go with you then? 
What? But you aren't even... It'll go a lot faster if we all look for it together, wouldn't it? I'm sure everyone's up for it. Thanks. This is it! We got it! Great work, Claude. We don't have a moment to lose. Let's get this back to Harley immediately. You got it, Bowman! Probably climb up here if we tried.
Let's go, Claude. I'm ready, Bowman. Madam, how's your daughter doing? It's an emergency, Doctor. She... she just collapsed. All of a sudden, please, Doctor, help my daughter. Help my Eleanor. What? She's in a coma. So it's already advanced this far. This medicine made from Matorx will help her out. But... But what? It all depends on whether this girl has enough strength left for it. What? How can this be? In her current state, it's a coin flip for her life. Iero's disease spreads through the body pretty slowly. She could probably survive for another year like this. Another year? But with that frail body of hers, if the girl's too weak to withstand the effects of the medicine, then it could be enough to kill her as soon as tomorrow. And of course, if we don't apply the medicine as soon as possible, her chances of surviving will only get worse and worse. I think it's up to you to decide on this, ma'am. Do you want your daughter to live a life in confinement for the next year? Or do you want to make that one big bet on the future? supposed to make that decision I understand completely it's your daughter's life that hangs in the balance how about you decide for her Claude oh but I know what you're gonna say but what if this girl dies because of a decision her mother made do you think her heart is strong enough to sustain that blow the responsibility needs to lie on someone else's shoulders. I understand. I think we should bet on it. She deserves the chance of a full recovery instead of being sentenced to a slow and painful end. I don't want to see this girl just wither away helplessly in bed for the next year. Her life's only just begun. Gotta agree with you there. Is that okay with you, madam? Yes. Please go ahead. Good. As the doctor in the house, I'll take over from here. Huh? But... A person's life is far, far more precious than you could possibly imagine. It's too much to ask for either one of you to shoulder it by yourself. Bowman! How'd it go? We'll just have to see how well the girl handles it. Call it strength. Call it persistence. Call it whatever you will. Everything depends on how much desire she has to live. We'll just have to believe in her. So what are you going to do now, Bowman? I'm going to stay by her side a little longer. Okay, the patient's yours, Doc. <laughs> 